Hello, I'm going to show you how to set up your ePortfolio in Canvas. In this case, we're going to be going to our account, which is up in the top left of the blue bar. And you're going to go past ePortfolios e until you see Folio. This is the one that's the robust one we're going to be using within Canvas. And it's going to take you to a page that has your basic information in here. And the first thing you want to do is look for your name and go ahead and click on that title there. And then you will be directed to set up an account in Portfolio, which is um, like another product within Canvas. In this case, you're going to have most likely your CMC email in here, and you can use the same password that you're using for your account. Now, the one thing about this is it is going to be separate of Canvas. So even if you leave CMC or you graduate or you get your certification, uh, you'll be able to access this and be able to see your portfolio and share it with the people out there. So this is something you will have to carry with you later on. And then the account type, you're going to choose what uh, option you are. Most times we're an undergraduate student. And then you're going to put in your birthday. So let's put in the information. And then agree to those terms. Once you've done that, you should see a page that looks like this. And this is similar to LinkedIn Learning, if you've ever used that. Uh, you can go in and add your resume. You can add introductions, work experience, uh, a little bit about yourself as a student. And then you want to go to Portfolio. And this is a place to add a new project. And this is what you're going to be submitting your homework or your projects or your group work or whatever you happen to do within your program. And you simply give it a title. You can upload files, and you can put almost any file in here. You can have multiple files. You can paste a link if you create something in YouTube, or you can connect to your Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever it happens to be. And then you have the option to put in a category. So this might be the course that you're submitting it for, uh, putting that information, a little bit about what it is. Um, just think of things that would be good to describe to you and professionals out there, prospective employers, uh, anything that might help them to know what your what your project is or your work or your example of your, for your portfolio. And then you can put in some basically keywords that help you find it. You can add any other one else that worked with you on it. And then you can also add tags to make it easier to find. And when you're done, you're going to publish that and it will be visible and ready to view for later. Anytime you can go back to your portfolio and work on it and add additional information. And if you come into it from Canvas again, you can also import directly from Canvas into a new project. And most times I'll click on this. It'll give me a list of my courses and anything that I've turned in. But the first thing you have to do is connect to Canvas. And once you've done that, then it will allow you to import and move that data easily within Canvas. And so now I could go through and I can find any assignments that I have. And then once I've got them, then I can confirm that import it directly into the project from any of the courses that I have. So now you can see any of the assignments that I have submitted for any of my courses in here. And say you want to add this um, sample student assignment work that I had done. And this is a uh, just a, a file that I've uploaded to Word document. And I can select that one assignment. And now I can import it into my folio. And then once I've got it imported, I go to view my profile. And it's going to take me back to my folio. I can go into portfolios and I can see that assignment that I put in here. Now, the nice thing is I can go in and I can view the assignment. I can see what I've submitted in here. It'll give me a preview of it. And then I can also edit this project. And this makes it easy to go in and put a better title in here. If I need to add any additional files, I can do that. I can choose different categories, descriptions, anything that I might have in here that would better uh, add information to uh, that area. And so this makes it really simple to add your portfolio, build it up, and have it be a good example to show prospective employers or other organizations. Now, once you've got your folio done, your portfolio done as far as your projects and some things that you've got in there that you want to share, uh, there's a couple things to be aware of. The one thing that comes up first, if you look over here, it says private. And that means no one can see it until you share it. So we're going to go down to this little share icon. And you need to go in and either copy a public share link that you can send to someone if you want to just give them a specific example of what you have, or update your privacy settings. 
And this would be that anyone can come in and view this if they have access to your uh, portfolio, your ePortfolio. And so it's kind of an option up to you. Do you want to let them all see it or do you want to make it something that's, that's safe? So I'm going to save those changes. Now you'll notice that it's no longer private and I can share my whole portfolio to someone else. And by doing that, I'm going to go up here to where my name is and you'll see a URL. This is your own private URL that you can share with your faculty, you can share with employers, you can share with groups and organizations, uh, other experts in the industry. You simply copy it and send that to someone and they have access to your portfolio. And then anything that is not private, that's public, that's available out there, you can share and they can see that and you'll be able to promote your own work. So if you have any questions, be sure to talk to your faculty as they can help you the most with Folio and I wish you the best. Thanks.